Let's talk about some key new model features on the 2024 J-Flight 235 MBH. Starting with, we have a Murphy bed. Opens it up by day, it's a Murphy bed by night. Announcement. Next thing, we've got an expansive U-shaped dinette plus a big window. Finally, we have double bunks, 600 pounds up, 600 pounds down. Hey guys, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaught RV. Special thanks to Jayco for allowing us a sneak peek on some 2024 models that will soon be landing on our lot. Right here, I have a new floor plan and it's really exciting when I can bring you a new floor plan that I predict is gonna stick around for a while. This one's a 235 MBH, so I have a Murphy bed in the front. I have double bunks, top and bottom, in the back. Double meaning two and two in the back. So if you've got a family, you don't want a huge trailer, you like the J-Flight line because it's a price point camper but still backed by Jayco quality, this might be the ticket for you. We're 27 feet and uh, inches, 27 feet, nine inches long, and you're about 5,800 pounds dry weight. So this is not a huge trailer, but you can sleep a family comfortably. That's often what happens when you have a Murphy bed because you can transform that area from sofa, living area by day, into bed at night the trailer ends up not being needing to be quite as long so that's what we've got here it's a brand new floor plan and i'm excited to show it off to you before we go on the inside just point out some things on the outside and i'll do my best to point out things that are different in 2024 starting with the underbelly of all the j flights is enclosed no news there but it's heated so it's receiving heat under there it expands your camping season dramatically you have 52 gallons of fresh water so if you're off grid it's quite a bit of fresh water you've got under here we've got goodyear endurance tires six-year warranty and now we've got black rims all the way around really looks nice the graphics look somewhat consistent with what you've seen in the past a little little nuance different there but not too much led light strip under the awning on what i call the fun side of the RV because this is where all the fun stuff happens. It's the most important side of the RV as far as I'm concerned in terms of design, storage, functionality, because hey, this is why you go camping. It's everything that happens over here. That's why I like storage compartments on this side. I also prefer units that do not have a slide on this side and this one doesn't so whenever you have a slide out on the patio side you're taking up valuable patio real estate some campgrounds you don't have a ton of room between you and your neighbor and in this case you maximize your campsite space so yay for that what's this guy this is a tv mount and you'll get this so you can float a tv from inside to out here on the patio. I've got my power and my coax cable so I can be watching mo have movie night here out under the awning. Really nice to have that. Easy to release and take it inside for travel, of course. This looks a little bit different from what you've seen in the past. It's your potable water fill. It is a gravity water fill. So you can put a hose in there or just chug some water in there if you're off grid to fill your fresh water tank. Only if you're not gonna have pressurized water at a campground you're going to. If you are, don't fill this up. Don't need to. Now we've got our solid steps right here. These are great. So adjustable legs that will make contact with the ground no matter what kind of terrain you're on. To stow them for travel, simply pop this up and it latches in place right there. Pull this down to deploy it. Again, pull these little knobs out with these yellow collars and these legs adjust. Boom, firm contact. So when I go in and out of the coach, I'm not transferring motion. So kids are sleeping in, the missus is sleeping in, and I wanna sneak out and go grab some coffee or make some coffee out here. I'm not transferring motion to the rest of the coach. Two plus three warranty, you've heard me talk about it. I can't brag about it enough. It's one of the reasons I personally bought a Jayco long before I worked at an RV dealership. 
you don't see the two. You see the three a lot in the RV industry, but you don't see the two. That's two full camping seasons of using this under warranty coverage. That's pretty good. Look how clean the interior, your pass-through storage is. Really clean. Jayco's added a light in there, so it's really handy to see everything and, and grab everything out of there, and it's really nicely trimmed out. We've got our two 20-pound propane bottles up front here. There's an automatic switch over when one empties, it will transfer to the other one electric lighted power tongue jack right here so it makes leveling front to back a breeze it makes hooking and unhooking a breeze and the lights helpful when you're having to do it after dark if you're new to rving and you haven't backed a unit into a campsite and you haven't leveled one before i would encourage you to cruise over to rv quick tips with mike on our youtube channel we'll put a link below and I go through step by step how to level one of these trailers. It's really quite simple but there's some handy hints in there that'll save you some time and headache and maybe even your marriage. All right. <laughs> right here's your battery tray behind there. We always wait to install those batteries until right before you take delivery so they're fresh batteries. Fiberglass front cap up here that's nice and aerodynamic. Instead of having the corrugated aluminum, there is now fiberglass up here and your diamond plating in front to help protect from rock chips and so on. Opposite side of our pass-through storage here, again, very nice and clean. We've got our rock-solid stabilizers. These are just fantastic because they deploy super quickly, but most importantly, they're more sturdy. They're more solid than the scissors jacks that we've become used to over the years. Man, when these things are down, it's hard. I'm trying to, I'm trying to move this thing and I can't. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but this thing's solid. When you're walking around on the inside, there's just very, very little movement because of the way these are designed. Quick little tip, make sure that, there, that you can see daylight behind that red where my finger is. If there is and there's room in there, you know you've got enough of an angle for it to be a rigid triangle and it's more stable that way. Coming around to the back, we've got our outdoor shower, hot and cold. We're in a convention center here, so I apologize the lighting isn't great, and you're gonna see things like boxes around and so on. But again, thank you to Jayco for allowing us to come in here and give you guys a sneak peek on some new models and new features for 2024. We really appreciate it, and I hope you guys appreciate it too. Hot, cold for your outdoor shower and our main city water connection. So this is where your main water supply will be. Always use a water pressure regulator. Have one on board and have an extra because they come up missing. Uh, you'll want to keep your pressure at no more than about 55 pounds PSI because everything in an RV is designed to operate under low pressure. So pressurized water here means now we have pressurized water everywhere in the coach. Remember, we have that potable water fill on the other side. If you need that water, you're going to use it when you're off grid. And in order to use that water, you'll flip on your water pump switch inside the coach. When you have water here, you don't need to uh, turn on the water pump. In fact, you shouldn't. It's going to work when it doesn't need to. You've got pressurized water here from the city. Our gray and black uh, um, valves are down here. Gray is gray, black is black, and our low point drain is situated under there as well. Again, 52 gallons of fresh water, so that's a lot of fresh water capacity. Your sat satellite and cable TV hookup. Many campgrounds now have basic cable provided, and if they do, bring along a section of uh, coax cable screw it in there and now you've got cable on the patio side you have cable on the inside of the coach we are uh, prepped for camera up on top and again i'm sorry we're in, we're in a convention center so you probably wouldn't hook up your rv like this at a campsite okay <laughs> so hey how about this tankless water heater though all the j flights now have a tankless on demand water heater say goodbye to the military showers and say hello to the 15 minute showers if you like Plus, two, three, four people can take showers in concession and you don't have to wait for it to recover because you have on-demand water, hot water. 
We have our J-port back here that is bumper mounted in this case. So we have our platform that slides in right there to hold our griddle up here. And then underneath is our propane quick connect. Now jaco has gone away from sinks in many cases, at least the plumbed sinks that pull out in a drawer and have instead gone with this approach which is a spray port. So you have a quick connect spray port and a regular old hose right here. This will come out stuck on the ladder there, but I can, I can reach the cameraman here, right? So how about this? I can spray out my dirty, greasy dishes in a pan. I can wash off my legs and so on. Um, handy to have. It's more flexible to use than strictly a camp uh, sink like 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 we used to have plus when you're pulling a sink out in a drawer they were prone to leaking you're pushing in and pulling out plumbing fixtures over and over and over jake has found that to be more flexible and more useful let me know what you think have a drink refrigerator right here so hey it's important to have beverages on the fun side makes it even funner if you have a refrigerator We've got, uh, Jayco's added a LED light under here in the camp kitchen area, as well as a couple drawers here for storage. Um, you do have a light switch right here, and then there's power up there as well. So you could put a margarator, a coffee maker, that kind of thing out here as well. Our vented range hoods uh, inside, it's got two little tabs that you'll want to make sure you release. Otherwise, if you don't, that's going to stay closed and you won't be able to vent the heat and the smells out. So just pull up on, pull up on those tabs to open it up and uh, get those smells and heat outside. Hey, let's go on the inside and check out this unit. Hey, we're in the 235 MBH Murphy bed double bunks in the back, 27-ish feet long. So again, I have the Murphy bed up, so now we're in the daytime position. So I have a nice sofa here. I've got my drink holder here in the middle. Pop that away, now it's more of a love seat situation. I can lounge right here. I can watch TV, it's very, very comfortable. Now, I have drawers underneath here on either side, so nice to have storage on either side of this. I can drop this down and it's actually a little bed just like that. So I don't know, maybe you need the bunks up there and you just want to take a nap here. Usually the reason you're going to drop this down is to make room for the Murphy bed to come down. So again, with Murphy bed floor plans, what you gain is having a walk around queen bed, but you don't have the overall length because you don't have a separate bedroom, so to speak. So that's one plus about Murphy bed floor plans. Release this over here. I've got a hook on either side. Just release this and drop down your Murphy bed, just like that. Nice queen bed, walk around, very comfortable. This is a thick Serta brand foam mattress. And I always tell people to shop around and you absolutely should before you spend money on an RV. Lift up the mattress and see what you see under the mattress of whatever RV you're looking at. In Jayco's case, you're going to see plywood, not OSB or particle board. Plywood is heavier, it's stronger, it doesn't off gas like OSB does, um, but it's just a better product and you're the beneficiary of it. I have shelves on that side and then over here I have a closet rod so you can hang shirts and so on. CPAP prepped on both sides so I've got power as well as plenty of room to put a CPAP machine on either side. So in 2024 I'll point out some changes as we go along but solar is now standard. The Overlander 1 solar package is standard. I have 200 watts of solar and your charge controller is right here on the wall. This is a little enhancement in 2024 uh, uh, an enhanced valance you might say and then you can see the wallboard in the front and notice this is all the the farmhouse color so it used to be this was dark brown even though you had modern farmhouse in the past now it's all farmhouse including the color in the front 
very it really brightens up the interior I think you even have the farmhouse color down on your nightstand area the wallboards updated a little bit but you don't notice it as much as you do this it, it's got a real kind of a country feel to it so this matches the wallboard up front speaking of enhancements the backsplash here again looks like real tile but it's not it's a smooth backsplash material had to lay fingers to it to convince myself that it actually wasn't real tile but it's easy to clean i really love these countertops they're the profile is now squared off it looks very modern it uh, looks like a slab of marble even though it's much more lightweight 2024 now you have a cutting board provided so this expands your work area and of course it is a cutting board to use however whenever you want very nice high-rise faucet and we've got our solid maple cabinets now that's nothing new with Jayco Jayco's great about giving you solid maple door fronts and drawer fronts with full extension drawer glides all the way around a little bit more storage that's where the trash can goes gosh you know the first couple rvs we bought there's no place to put the trash can we're tripping over it all the time so i'm i'm just geeky enough to think about every rv i step into where's the trash can go i think it probably goes there so we have our three burner cooktop with our backlit controls. This pops up to become your backsplash, easily removable to clean it. And the oven's big enough for the main reason you need an oven at the campsite, which is to make chocolate chip cookies. You can also make other things like pot pies and pizzas, but why would you? Just make cookies. Big enough for that. Down here is your 12 volt fuses and your 110 breakers they're all labeled so familiarize yourself with those in case you need to do some troubleshooting now this is nice it's an auto detect converter charger so if you go to lithium at some point in the future you want to upgrade uh, from lead acid batteries to lithium it's automatically going to detect that used to be you had to change out your charge controller and now you don't so real handy Vented range hood up here. This vents to the outside. We also have a light obviously under here and a microwave big enough to warm up leftovers and make microwave popcorn. Now here's something else that's standard moving into 2024 is 12 volt refrigerators. So we have an eight cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator and of course freezer up on top here. Now this is running off your 12 volt power all the time. So driving down the road your tow vehicle is sending 12 volt power back here. When you're camped off grid without shore power, your batteries are providing that 12 volt power. Now here's the ticket. If you're camped off grid with no shore power, you've got solar up on top, which is keeping your batteries happy, which are in turn powering this. Now that'll do a really nice job toward extending the amount of time you can camp off grid get a lot of questions about what solar will and won't do and there's so many variables I, I can't give you an answer because there are so many variables but suffice it to say with the overlander one your solar i.e your batteries they're not going to power your air conditioner they're not going to power this microwave and they're not going to power the television if you want to power those things i'd get a little generator to have uh, if you're planning on doing a lot of dispersed camping on forest service land or that kind of thing. This dinette, which is a very large dinette, drops down into a bed. So very spacious uh, dinette where I can see certainly four or five folks around here comfortably. Um, in 2024, I'm noticing windows are getting bigger, whether they're on the camp side or on the off door side. Nice big window. This is all screened so I can push this open and get a lot of fresh air coming through the coach here. You'll notice the floor, the linoleum's a little bit different this year. I like it. There's little um, patches of kind of brown in it, earth tones. It's a very forgiving color for a campsite um, setup. You'll also notice there's kind of a mixture of decors you've seen in the past. If you've shopped Jayco's in the past, you'll, you'll notice the familiar colors. They've combined them into one, uh, one 
farmhouse decor. I keep wanting to say modern farmhouse because it's been modern farmhouse. In truth, Jayco's calling some of the modern, uh, see I'm doing it again, some of the decors um, classic farmhouse and they're also calling it vintage farmhouse, but farmhouse being this lighter color, you're going to see it pretty much across the board on the travel trailers and the fifth wheel units. Right here's our stereo, which is Bluetooth capable, so you can um, pair your phone with this and send music through the speakers in the ceiling, also out on the patio. If you want to add a TV, the TV would go right here. Um, this is a little ways from your Murphy bed, from your sofa back there, but it's the most logical place for the TV to go. And I don't know, I, I tend to watch more and more things from my phone or my iPad or whatever. Um, but if you get kids, a lot of times they're going to watch it from their screens up in the bunks too. Anyway, you've already got an HDMI uh, wired up in here and power to put a TV up here. Got a couple cabinets for storage below here as well. Speaker up on top again, so if you're pushing music through the speakers, you got one here and one up front. Now, here's our double bunks. Now, Jayco defines double and single bunks by their width, and, and this is a double bunk. So you can put two humans up here, right? So a couple can sleep up here, a couple can sleep down here. Here's the key. It's a 600-pound weight rating up here and a 600-pound weight rating down here. So many manufacturers top their bunks out at about 250, 300 pounds, and two adults, large size adults, that's not gonna cut it. So um, they go overboard really with their bunk weight ratings. Nice four inch thick um, teddy bear foam mattress up here. You have USB ports up there and USB down here. This is a neat thing. I can access the storage. It's got a piano hinge here and I've got a little bit of storage in here as well for some of the things that you don't need to access as much, extra blankets and shoes and whatever. Um, sorry, I, I made the teddy bear fall over down there, but I'll, I'll fix him in just a minute. Anyway, nice, nice clean bunks, double up, double down. Going in the bathroom, another nice big shower. Oh man, this is great. So I'm six feet tall, plenty of room to roam in here got a uh, skylight up above here so I could be 6465 and still take a shower and not crack my noggin up on top here. It's a one piece shower surround. Jayco reinforces the shower base with three quarter inch plywood. So get in here and do this. This is another thing you should do when you're shopping. Lift up the mattress and see what you see. Go ahead and see what it feels like when you get in the shower. A lot of times you're going to feel it give up and down. You wouldn't see that by looking at it, and you wouldn't know it if, if someone didn't tell you about it. That's one reason that Jayco's units weigh a few more pounds and cost a few more bucks than their competition because of the material that goes in, sometimes in places that you can't see, like here, as well as the roof structure up on top and the floor you're standing on. So that's real nice. I do have a medicine cabinet now. All the J flights now have some kind of medicine cabinet. Yay! More storage under here as well. And then our suburban on-demand water heater is right here. So I can control my water heater temperature right here inside the bathroom again. I don't know if it's an endless shower, but certainly a longer shower. Perfect place for linens to store in these little cubbies up here. I might put some elastic something on here to keep stuff tidied in or you can fold stuff that way maybe but going down the road I, I feel like some things may be falling out of here so I might put something up there to keep those uh, in place. We have a plastic foot flush toilet on your J flight, flight line here so um, and a shower curtain. I've talked about this before but I'm a fan of shower curtains. You can take them off, throw them in the wash and uh, have them clean, put them back up here. So what do you think about this unit? Again, as always, your vote, vote counts way more than mine does. I'm curious what you think about this brand new floor plan. It's a Murphy bed with bunks, so you can take the family, and it's not a 35 foot long trailer. So it's in the J-Flight line. 
which over the years has increasingly got more luxury feeling to me. Uh, there's a lot of things that show up in a J flight that just a few years ago you didn't see until you got into a J feather or, or a White Hawk. And now you've got some really neat appointments that are now showing up in the J flight. So pretty cool stuff. But let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. And while you're down there, if you'd click like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. And again, special thanks to Jayco for giving us access to come in here and share some of these new features and new models with you. And hopefully we'll have one of these on the lot um, at one of the VRV family of companies real soon. If you're interested in this model or another model that's a 2024 that uh, you haven't seen yet and you wanna know when it comes in, let us know and we'll put you on a list and let you know when we get one, you come look at it in person. Hey, thanks for joining me. My name's Mike and I'll see you next time.